Hi, this is Kerry from FreeAudacityTutorials.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use Audacity like a mixer, kind of. You can't really mix tracks on the fly like you can with a mixer using Audacity. But there is one function you can set up where you can actually hear a track that's already recorded and then speak over it and it's helpful because it enables you to do your phrasing and, and know how much time you have left to speak and that sort of thing. Uh, kind of like it would if you were a mixer. Only on a mixer you would decide those things for yourself on the fly. So here's how it goes. Uh, I've got a track here by my friend Adam Ray. Uh, you can find his music at heyrayguitar.com. You can see the website address below. Uh, this track is called See Sarah Run. I want you to listen to the track for a minute. So that's the music. Now, if I wanted to speak over this in a way where the music doesn't bury my voice, first thing I'm going to do is use the envelope tool right here. I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to find the place where I want to, my voice to, to be, my speaking. So it's right in here is where I want to start. So I'm going to use those two pointers right there. I'm going to click, and I'm going to click again. The first point is where you're volume change begins, second point is where your volume change ends. And I'm going to drag it downward to get the volume of that track lower. So now I'm going to click my selection tool, let you hear what I did. Okay, and this is where I'd be speaking over it. Now, what I can do is I can go up here to edit, down to your preferences, and here on the recording tab on the left hand side, there's an option here where it says play through. I have this overdub checked. So that says play other tracks while recording a new one. That's what I want. And so I'm going to have that checked. I'm going to say OK. And you want to do this with headphones on because if you don't have headphones on, the sound from your um, computer speakers is going to come out and it's going to go into the microphone that you're recording and you're going to get kind of a garbled sound. So. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the cursor, using my select tool, I'm going to put the cursor right, well, anywhere in the track, really, and I'm going to start speaking when it gets right here. So I watch this, this time uh, thing pass, and when it gets there is where I'm going to speak. But what if I want it to come back up at a certain point? Say I only want this to be 10 seconds, okay? Well, it's right here at about 8, so at about 18 is where I want it to go back up. I'm going to set my Time Chef tool again with two points. I'm going to make one of them go up high. Make the last one to go up high, and then that's that's my area where I have to speak, okay? So here we go. Watch how I do this. I'm going to hit the record button, and when it gets to this section of the recording is where I'm going to start speaking. Hi, this is Kerry from FreeAudacityTutorials.com, and I do podcast consulting and podcast cover art at FreeAudacityTutorials.com. See, that's how you do it. Now, it's kind of like a mixer in that you can speak over things that are already playing, but it's not like a mixer because you can't adjust those volumes on the fly. That's it. As I said in the part I recorded, I do podcast cover art and website headers as well as podcast consulting. So check me out at freeaudacitytutorials.com.